Good evening, TF Tours. This is London calling with my special guest here today, Vitor. Did I say that right? Well, well, well. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's really ha it's really good to be here again, and I think this will be a great match. It is. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in right now, this is going to be a uh, show match between Exertus Esports and uh, the number one team in South America, Monster. Um, yeah, this is this is an awesome event. This is kind of put together like sort of sort of last second, but it's really awesome to see some two uh, really awesome teams play uh, even more than one map. Uh, so tonight we have uh, let's let's see, let's 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 talk about the Brazilians because uh, those of us in North America we didn't see uh, them play last weekend uh, when they 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 won right they they won they're the winners of yeah. of the league. Yeah, they won LBTF uh, Elite, which is like the highest division in South America. Uh, but uh, Monster is a really, really good team. They've they've got spectacular scouts uh, and a really strong combo too. So I, I think Monster has, just like I said in Sunday's cast uh, against EG, the Monster plays around their scouts. That's something of Monster. It's it's a particular game style, and I think that's going to bring uh, Exertus some challenge. I, I, I don't know uh, uh, if Exertus is used to play against teams like that, but I'm pretty sure this will be an awesome match to watch. I, I agree. Um, that's that's awesome. Uh, Exertus is, is, does have some, some decent scouts. Both Alpha and Decime have uh, a ton of experience behind them, and they're both uh, awesome in their own rights. Uh, their heavier classes are going to be a big threat, especially on this first map, which looks like it's going to be Granary. Uh, both Rando and Mela are, are amazing soldiers. Mela is, is needs no introduction. He's he's an amazing uh, roamer, uh, and Rando is is everybody's favorite pizza boy. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, actually, you know, what? let's go through the rosters right now. Uh, why, why don't we go ahead and start with the uh, who's who's playing what on uh, on Monster here? All right, sweet. I'll start off with Tiger, who's the demo man on uh, Monster. He's a really good player. Uh, he does a lot of damage, so that's that's someone uh, who Exertus needs to take, take care. Uh, on Medic, we have Wings, who is considered by most the best Medic in South America, and I certainly agree with that. He's really good. He's shown that in the last match, he did some awesome plays. And for Soldiers, we have Ole and Majesty. Usually, uh, Ole plays Pocket and Majesty Romer, but uh, uh, lately, they've been switching that. Uh, Majesty has been playing Pocket and Ole uh, Romer, and well, let's see how that goes. They did play like that in the finals, and they won, so I'm pretty sure that won affect the result of this match. And the last, but not the least, we have the two scouts. Power, who is pretty much very well known in North America, and Eizu. They're really good, and just like it should be expected from them. They're really good, and you'll often see Monster using uh, an Uber uh, on his scout instead of a soldier. So, because because Pawa and Azo are really good, and they can deal a lot of damage, uh, just like a soldier. And it's really effective, and I really want to see how Exerters deal with that. All right. And now to introduce uh, your North American representatives here today, it's going to be Exerters Esports. Uh, on Magic is the Fragile, the legend himself. Uh, on demo, Badonsky, uh, known for his insane pipes and great DM, he's just a powerhouse of damage. Uh, scouts are going to be at Decimate and Alpha. Alpha is sort of this sort of can do all classes. I'm pretty sure he's played just about every single class and in invite at this point. Um, and Decimate, I mean, get decimated. Uh, and then, of course, Mela on Romer and Rando as the pocket. Uh, that is, I, I, I'm also interested to see this too. Most this is uh this first server that they're going to be on is actually in brazil so on granary yeah. on a map with uh where all the north american players have about uh, close to about 200 ping uh give or take here and there um their their projectile classes are gonna they're gonna be taking a hit i think uh as far as ping goes um and that's that's gonna be a, a big deal on granary i think um, as far as whether or not they're going to be able to, to consistently hit their shots. Yeah, exactly. Deal, dealing with high ping, especially as a soldier, as a demo man, it's it's really hard. Uh, you gotta you gotta gotta always think twice before doing something. So that's something exerters will have to watch out.
and especially true, I would say, I mean, what I'm excited about right now is I'm just excited to see Powell without 200 ping, because every single time <laughs> I've seen him play, he's always had, you know, this gigantic uh, ping advantage uh, or disadvantage when he plays on, with uh, North American uh, servers. So it's it's going to be pretty cool to see him get a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, letting the North Americans deal with it yeah. <laughs> for, for this time around. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we got 12 in the server right now. We're about to uh, to get ready pretty soon. Uh, it looks like they're all on uh, their on their respective teams. It looks like it's going to be Xertus in blue and Monster on red here. And any second we're gonna we're gonna start it off. Uh, what are your what are your predictions for this uh, for this first round of this best of three? I think Monster will win this. Uh, not only because of the pain, but because of their play style. I, I think Powell and Aizo are two unusual players and they can literally win a match. And I, I, I'll bet on them on this on this first map. What what do you think of this first map? I, I agree with you. Um, I, I'm really going to be watching these scouts. I'm going to be watching them to make these these crazy plays, um, and and really just see how uh, to see how Exertus plays. They they're they're not a team that makes too many uh, mistakes very often. So it's 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 really going to come down to whether or not they can really muscle them out, or if they're going to take this a little bit slower because of their ping disadvantage. Um, I think that the mids are going to come down to once again whether or not Mela and Rando are really going to hit their shots. Um, and you know, and also how well Decimate and Alpha can contain these two scouts uh, if you know they decide to to play with their heels. Um, yeah. And and Pal is actually asking, why did you guys pick this map? <laughs> yeah, because uh, Granary is is known as as a soldier map, I think, right? Yes, and, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna think that uh, the. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm gonna say Monster is gonna take this five to three. Uh, that is my prediction right now, just from watching them play last weekend, and uh, just from all the hype that you're giving these scouts right now. I'm kind of scared yeah. for for Exertus right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really excited because you know Monster has never had this chance before of playing against an invite team, so I think they they have a lot to show us. Rando is asking whether or not they can start. Uh, do you mind? Is Doug in there right now? Can he tell them to just they can go whenever? I, I think. Hey, wait a second. Hey, I'll, I think they're starting soon. Okay, cool. All right. And it looks like we are all set. Up yep. Pretty soon. Nope. <laughs> We're readying up and and unreadying. It looks like. All right, and here we go. Uh, who are you going to be watching for this first mid here? I'm going on Tiger. Let's see All what right. he does in his middle. He's just doing his normal standard rollout. He's going upstairs now. He's, he he want to get a high ground advantage. He's spamming sticks on the enemy's uh, high ground too. He's yep. trying to hit the demon man, but it's not it's not really working. I think. And soldier monster soldiers are really filming a medic. You see that? That was a really good yeah. play by Majesty. He got a, the medical, but Monster but has already lost that's, five that's, people. Yeah. yeah, that's that's not everything on, on a granary mid. In fact, I would say that the first class, the first class is your medic to go down on this mid. You're you're doing something wrong. Um, yeah, it was it was good. It looks like uh, but honestly, kind of had the freedom there. He he was in, he wasn't really in that much trouble down there. He didn't get a whole lot of pressure um, on his own health pack, uh, and he was sort of able to get free reign on this sort of stuff. But it means that Ubers are going to be even, so they're not going to roll right into uh, yeah. last year. It looks like they will be able to get second, no problem. Uh, Pala actually getting taken out by a sticky trap by uh, Badonski, and uh, and yeah, that's that's going to mean that they're not going to really be able to contest second at all here. Um, yeah. And it looks like their heals are on the pretty much here. the same. Uh, Exerus has, has a small advantage on Uber, but well, I'm not sure now. Ola died, but. Xerxes lost two players, and that's, I'm not sure if Monster's gonna use that player to manage, trying to push. I, I don't think so. I think what, just... you saw, what you saw right there was a two-man suicide. Uh, it, one of them is probably gonna come up as an off-class right now, but it was basically yeah. just to see if they could get a, uh, a medic right now. And sure enough, Alpha is gonna yeah. come up sniper. Yeah, he's a sniper uh, now. Let's see. I'm, this is the moment I've been waiting for because now I want Pala to be on sniper, uh, and, and he surely is. will. He is now. He's a sniper. 
Let's see how that how that goes. Both teams with Uber right now are going to be uh, at a stalemate to see if one of these snipers can somehow get a pick here. The door is opening uh, for the blue soldier is, is just kind of is trying to get the uh, get a sideline here for Alpha, but Pal is right there. He's in a great spot right now uh, to try to get it. Both medics are playing not really in a sideline, but safely able to uh, to basically you know just get a uh, heal to their team. Um, actually. Looks and like Power goes down. <laughs> yeah, nice shot by Power. And uh, let's see if the uh, monster does anything right now. Ole is on top of uh, the pipe right now, trying to like do, see if he can peek in right now. Typically, you would see and a uh, yeah. Typically, you would see somebody try to uh, make a uh, play here from the defending team. Oh. Uh, that's exactly what Zerus is waiting for. Yeah, they now are also going, going in. down. And yeah, they have to now. The blue or uh, pop is from red right now and blue has a little bit better uber right now uh monster bugging out uh they might lose the scout here in second uh and here's yeah he goes down to rando who's just kind of it's, it's it's kind of a slideshow for me right now unfortunately yeah. i also have a lot of uh, i don't understand issues. why why wings let majesty die but well let's see and now exert is pushing for the last point and there's only majesty Alive. Let's see what he can do. But yeah, it's pretty much one. This is one this first round. Looks like it's gonna go to Exertus. Yeah. Where All are right. you gonna be falling now? Um, I believe I'll, I'm actually gonna watch Mail on this mid uh, just because I, I want to see exactly how much his uh, ping is really affecting him. He's usually what wins them these mids in a lot of the in a lot of cases. To be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, and you saw Alpha take about like 75,000 shots there before he was finally able to hit something. Uh, a big jump actually coming in on the, on the choke right now. Um, Ole goes down really quickly to Rando, and then uh, their medic actually goes down as well. But Donsky in a lot of uh, trouble right now. 19 health, trying to vote. A lot of the people on Exertus are just very, very close to dying. Um, but unfortunately, Monster doesn't have enough people up to start cleaning up, and both the demo and Scout is are out. Yeah. And now Exerz has all the Uber advantage, 100%. Let's see how old you're gonna use it, right? I think they're just gonna burst for the last point. Let's see. All they gotta be careful in this case is they gotta be careful for a sticky trap. It was above the point and it was deaded a little prematurely and, here. Rando taking the and, most of it, but... Uh, and Alpha did get a medipick. There no. it goes. <laughs> that was this round a nice is all play. but sealed pretty much for right. But all oh. they did force the Uber. That was a nice play, but still they're still going for the last point. And I'm they not have... sure if they can hold it. Yeah. They oh, have the Thomas scope in, but he's not really being able to kill somebody. And yeah, it seems like Azuri is gonna get this point. Maybe. We have a it's, it's all maybe. up to uh yeah, it's all up to decimate to hit these yeah, the last shots did here. Get... That was... Yep, quick round by Exertus, and that's yep. that's another thing about Granary too that I'll say that if if you win a mid that convincingly, it's it's pretty much the round for you. It's and one that of those maps. And that was a really good play by Alpha getting the wings down in the middle of all of them. Like that was huge, actually. I will say that I think that what Monster needs to do here is actually hold back their soldier bombs uh, for being so early. It worked out yeah. really well for them in that first mid, but uh, maybe not so much in that second. Uh, so we'll see how they play this out right now. And actually, Tiger going down really, really early. Uh, same as with Wadonski, so yeah. no, no demos during this fight. It's all going to come down to who's going to hit their shots. Uh, Majesty down to five health. He's getting healed by his medic right now, but uh, it's, it's two on three right now. Let's see how they play this out. Uh, the Fragile and Rando are look like they're, they're trying just to get gonna, out right now. Yeah, they're just going just, to just gonna retreat now. But Azo is trying to pressure them. But yeah, he's just going to go back and cap middle. You gotta play it right. more safe. So it's gonna be the situation now is uh, it's 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 finally we've we've kind of slowed the game game down a little bit. Uh, so it's gonna be equal Ubers with uh, Exertus pushing second, or I'm sorry, defending their second, and Monster finally in a good position now for the first time in this match to uh, to try to get around. Yeah, should we wait for any off classes now? Do you think someone's gonna take one? I would say I would hope not. To be honest, in this situation, I think that you need the most mobility that you can possibly have, and uh, an off class would just slow the game down even more on a map that is just known for its stalemates. 
But Zert is playing actually really close here to, to the doors. Uh, if they want to have an exchange, I think they want to have them pretty close. Um, and I take that back as they are backing up and they're kind of giving a little bit of room here. Um, they'll At this point, what they're going to want is they want to force in Garage uh, and then have a better Uber to just come back into second, hopefully a pick or two. Uh, yeah. Mela making sure that nobody rushes in this into the into the yard. A lot of spam There's, coming down. Yeah, a lot of spam coming in. But other than that, it's just a lot of uh, padding of damage stats, pretty much at this point. Actually, as I say this, Alpha gets caught out in Garage uh, and is, is taken out. And that's going to signal the push from Monster, whose Uber has been popped. Decimate also going down on the flank uh, with Pala and his uh, Roamer going in. Pala is the only one to die from uh, from, uh, from Monster. Yeah, but Monster's okay. still pushing for the, last, for the second point. And Ola is out there. Doing a lot of damage and he got the meta killed. Now that, they're gonna go for the last wipe. point. Yeah, it's, it's a, a full wipe. wipe. And, and Tiger's already trapping his pawn and Medic is going after him. All of the players are ready there. Both scouts are down out and Monster's gonna get this point. That's a nice play there. Beautiful play by uh, Pal uh, to take out Alpha there. And actually, I don't think he was in uh, Garage. I think he was playing around Choke, so good yeah. read on them to, uh, to get that kill and get and single the push. Also, yeah. I would say even then, the Uber going into the, that team to, to take out the, the players on the flank and let them get in uh, into that garage area uh, was pretty key there by Monster, so good round. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on, on Majesty now. Let's see what he does in his middle fight. He's, he's a real, He used to be a really good roaming soldier. He's got his spirit, so let's see what he does. So Tiger again going down to the scout pressure really early, uh, but they trade both. Uh, they pretty much their entire team. Uh, it looks like Monster, all they have to do right now is keep up their medic, and it looks like their medic is just going to be holding yeah. pretty safe. Yeah, Badonski, he's the last one in trying to make some uh, some miracle plays happen, but uh, at this point, this is what I would call uh, a monster a monster round right now. Yeah. They, they've got all the advantage. They're probably just going to rush for the last point. And let's see what Xur is going to do. They, they do have Alpha sniping. Maybe he can get a pick or two. Let's see. They did They did take out Pala, uh, who was playing a little bit aggressively there. Um, yeah. And they're going to be able to take back second, it looks like, unless Monster decides to yeah. use their Uber yeah. to actually take out their other scout, too. Mela down to a very, very low health. And actually, the Uber has been popped now for Monster, which will give uh, Exertus an advantage if they are able to take the second point. Uh, but with those close spawns, I don't think that it's going to matter. And we have a heavy, ladies and gentlemen. The fun vacuum is here. Hey, Joe is playing heavy. That's something unusual. Oh, and there's the and we have Bella. Wow, that was got him close, man. <laughs> Very close there. You almost got it. He almost took a round away from Exertus for free. Yeah. They, he forced all Exertus to, to retreat. And, well, but Exertus still has 40%. Uber advantage. Let's see if they're gonna use it or just they're just gonna wait for a peg or something. Well, and even more importantly, they couldn't really push on this advantage good without Badonski down. So Palin did a lot of work for his team right there. Guess me and Alpha are gonna go out after yeah. they take out the heavy. That's a two for one trade. That's awesome. and I would take that any day. Exertus used their ogre and, and now Monster's going for the last point with the ogre advantage and player advantage. They have all the everything it takes to get this. They're forcing them into this pump. And Ola is going to the, into the point, he gets a nicer shot, and probably Monster, yeah, there we go, Monster gets the point, 2-2, two, two right now. Yeah, pretty much able to just take, walk right in there and just kind of go in there. Power there, actually winning uh, his, his 1v1 against, uh, ugh, not against, uh, against Badonski, but against their, uh, against Rando there, which yeah. was nice. And actually, I'm going to watch uh, the scouts here. It looks like, uh, for Exertus, they, it looks like they're putting a lot of pressure on uh, on the demo right away. Right now, they're playing a little bit more conservative. Both teams playing pretty passive. Yeah. Uh, I say that right as the soldiers jump into the blue crate and right into some scouts. Badonski down to 30 health. Decimate gets taken out. Rando also in a lot of trouble. And it looks like Fragile's already pulled out the needles. And this is going to be a mid that they have to walk away from. Wait, but no, no, going to the back behind oh. him. Oh, gets taken out by Alpha. Yeah, thanks, Doc. That was and really actually, close. This, this means that Alpha's gonna walk right in and take out wings. Wow! Uh, just just kind of two shots in there. Not really. Uh, wings not with uh, any of his players. That they were both kind of thought the mid was over. And Alpha's and gonna Alpha's get a kill. Still gonna have to... <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! That was a 
Huge play by Alpha. I got a medic and the demo man. Holy crap. I'm gonna say right now that that's the play that that's that has saved them this round. It is two two to two right now uh, in an ex incredibly exciting match. Yeah, uh, match and Monster. did force Exerz Uber, so it will not have the advantage. I think. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Fragile is uh, he was almost in the yeah, last try. He almost went down. Yeah. He got one mage shot, but did not get the other one. So. And it looks like now Wings is going to take this advantage, uh, hopefully to push out a second here. They're all the way in their, uh, their second point. They're kind of just waiting here for uh, the push. And hopefully this is what we see from a, a scout Uber. Sure enough, uh, here comes Pally. He's going to take out, he's not even Uber yet. Uh, they take out the entire combo, pretty much. And uh, with a little help from the demo, Tiger. And uh, they're, just, they're just looking to clean up some kills. Ma uh, let's see. Decimate back on the point. Mela looking to make a play somewhere. He's back behind the whole team, down to 18 health. Yeah. He's uh, still behind them, causing a little bit of ruckus here and there, but they're just going to push right into mid and ignore him. Uh, looks like their other scout. Is it, what's his name? Ease? Azo. You can call Azo, him. okay. Azo is kind of looking out for him, trying to see where he's at. Alpha also getting taken out. Uh, they're just kind of playing a little sloppy right now. And Mela legit did kill Ole. At his second point, like back there, but I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the game. But yeah, Mail is still teams, behind. It's probably gonna bump the Matic. Both teams have know. lost a soldier and a scout right now. It's not really gonna uh, make a single push for anybody uh, unless somebody wins an insane DM fight. But uh, that's about it. Uh, and they finally go back to take care of Mela. He uh, he's, he's dispatched quite quickly. Uh, Ubers are even for all intents and purposes. With Mela down, this is going to mean that Monster is going to push right into two, uh, their yard here with the Scout Uber. Here it comes, and uh, Scout and Soldier. But the Uber is pop for, for the Fragile right now. Uh, Ole gets taken out, but uh, Decimate is also going to go down. And Wings goes down, but also Fragile. fragile. Yeah, Fragile does, dude. And it's all coming down to these DM fights right now. Alpha yeah. uh, able to take it bring uh, Majesty down to 10 health and wasn't able to seal the deal. Mela comes back in for the cleanup. He hits one rocket and uh, takes out Pala. He's looking to take out this demo man right now. He's shooting the ground pretty fiercely and he's gonna pick up a 2k to defend his second. Both, both Maddox seems to be dying quite quickly. I mean, it's just like you said, it sums up to those DM fights and whoever hits more shots, you know? And really, it's both teams, they both want to collapse on their combo here. I think Exert is like, they see that the combo is so far in, and they're like, okay, we want to stay here, we want to get these kills. But it just comes down to these soldiers just, you know, jumping in and putting pressure on where it's needed, and they're not letting the Fragile get away with, with living after staying in these long. So we are back, actually, where we started, uh, only 10% difference here between uh, both medics. And uh, it's 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 back to Exertus defending their yard and Monster defending mid. So even after all that action, we're only back right back to square one. <laughs> yeah. The last time this happened, Monster managed to win. Let's see if they do that again or Exertus changes that. But yeah, it's pretty much the same now. Both teams are waiting for a pick to hush. Lots of spam coming to the garage. Let's see what happens. Pala and uh, Ole putting a lot of pressure in this choke right now. They're trying to get another pick from uh, these scouts from Decimate and Alpha, who uh, are picking. Or they're, they're peeking it pretty hard. Uh, they they kind of almost like almost walk into mid before like they, they back out uh, and see what they can get. Um, so if they're not careful, they will they will go down and they will signal another push. And uh, it looks like Monster also poking in quite aggressively into Garage. It looks like both scouts want to come in. They're both going to push into this left yard um, and try to get a pick on the flank. They get it from Mela, and they also get a pop right now. Uh, both that, was, that was a really good play by Monster. They did kill one and still forced the Uber. Now they have all and managed to push for a little second point. And here it comes. Uh, Decimate is going to get taken out, uh, but he's not before the Uber is popped from Monster. They're going to try to get in. Fragile getting caught out in uh, Garage. There is a uh, soldier behind them right now, and it looks like they're trying to wrap them. Uh, but it looks like Decimate is the only one that made it, or uh, Alpha, excuse me, is the only one that made it to mid to do the back cap. And 
they're they're going back to, to stop him. Pal winning the 1v1 against Alpha as his team arrives to help him out. But this should mean that uh, they get into second for free, pretty much. Mela is in uh, Lunchbox, trying to see if he can make a play. But for the most part, uh, Exertus has no presence on second right now. Decimate has to be careful before, before he's going to get taken out. Sure enough, he gets taken out as huge well as the play fragile. By Power. Huge play by Power. He got it. both Matic and Scout down, and he's trying to go to the last, but he loses the 1v1 against Alpha. But Monster is going. There's only two players by Exertus alive, and no, everyone's dead. That's a wipe, man. 3 2 Monster. That was, that was a huge play by Power. Do you see that? He was he's like putting pressing. the team on his back right now, man. He's making all the big plays. Like, he is going ham in all. <laughs> In every sense of the word. It was like, he pressed W and never ever released again. He killed both Medic and Scout and that was awesome. Uh, let's see what Tiger does in this med. He's going up again and down out and he's trying to trap the right side of the med. He's trying to deal a lot of damage to the combo but he was forced to retreat. And uh, Mela did put a lot of pressure there but he died quite soon. and. Seems like this middle is gonna be two monster. Yeah, looks like Exertus lost a lot of people there. Uh, the, they put a lot, they committed a lot of people onto on the tiger to try to get him. He actually went down to 13 health um, before he was he backed almost fully out of the garage right now. Uh, but before I, I say this any further, Palo tried to go in for another big play. Rando gives him the old one-two punch with a rocket and a shotgun, uh, and that's gonna mean that monster is one down. They are even Ubers right now, and I'm, I'm questioning their decision right now to be in Yard. This actually might be bad for them uh, if Exertus decides to push them right now. Um, yep. And it looks like they're peeking out in the Yard uh, with their combo. They are taking uh, their right Yard, uh, but their, their Uber is actually Both popped. Ubers, uh, yeah. Here's the exchange. Uh, looks like one Scout and Majesty gets taken out. Tiger's oh. down. Three players from Monsters down. And Probably both Medic and Sword are gonna die now. Or not. Oh, but wow. Power comes in and takes out wow. the Fragile in front of three wow. players on his team. If I was a medic if I was the medic in that situation, I would be uh, I would be pretty disappointed in my boys right now. Huge play with Pow again. We got a medic in the middle of six of them. Like <laughs> Powell actually saying he bossed and bashed himself <laughs> uh, during that play, which is also hilarious. Fragile though, no hard feelings, is laughing it off. And once again, I have a question from uh, the peanut gallery. The pings are now in favor of Brazil right now. This is a Brazilian server, let's all remember. Uh, so yeah, that's that, that has a little bit to do with it, but in a lot of sense, I think that it's just Monster making some pretty pretty huge plays. So actually, Fragile is now on the Kritzkrieg, uh, and he's uh, going to be pulling ahead of the uh, Uber race quite steadily right now. He's building pretty consistently. Uh, and yeah, he's, he's gonna have it. Not the best not to go crits on, but Monster is actually pushing into mid, uh, which might be a really good opportunity for, uh, for Exertus. Ole, and, uh, Whoa, there's the crits. crits. That crits, that was a stupidly beautiful crit, man. It was really, really nice. You know, when you got a demo like Badonski, uh, you can pretty much just trust him to hit these, like, insane plays. He's actually going to get uh, a 4k right now with those with three kills um, during the crits and a nice pipe onto a soldier. And that was a wipe, and Xuris has all the uber advantage. They're probably just going to wait till it's charged and push for less. Or not, they're going. Or no, they're, they, they want a big dick this right now. Pal actually would uh, went to Sniper. Uh, and is now back on scout. He's gonna come back out, roaring and raging. Decimate and Melo going down. Majesty, uh, the only thing to exchange here, and that's gonna mean that Exertus is just gonna need to hang out. But they do have crits right now. They looks like they're gonna take us up into lunchbox and see if they can bait the uh, monster into the second before they uh, they take him out. And here it goes. Uh, Pala has found the combo, and they haven't quite. They have now popped the crits and taken out Ole. Uh, Pala is not in that much trouble. He's got full health, but he is trying to fight in this uh, this lunchbox. He was able to take out Mela, but quickly dispatched by Kodonsky, and uh, while that was all going on, Exertus just pushed straight into last, and uh, we're able to take it. Now it is 3-3, three to three. <laughs> this is insane, three to three. this is an insane match right now. Eight minutes left, 3-3, three three. let's see how this ends up. And I'm going to be watching, uh, this was Rando, he hasn't been getting a lot of love this uh, this match right now, he is uh, he's doing well, but uh, he... Uh, 
Hasn't been getting a lot of camera time, I don't think, on these mids. Let's see, uh, see what he can do. So right away, a big air shot onto, uh, onto uh, the monster soldier. He's able to get out, uh, but not before he's found by his scout majesty in a little bit of trouble against Alpha, who uh, take him out. But actually, Olaf doing a whole lot of damage. I think Exertus thought that they had that mid in the bag, and now it's just down to Alpha and Decimate, who are both in critical amount of health. Alpha going down, and it's a 1v1. Ole with 15 health, who is obviously going to be called right now by uh, by Alpha to Decimate. But Decimate is not going to chase him. He's just going to hang out on mid and get as much as he can. But uh, Ole peeks a little bit too aggressively and is taken out. So that's going to be a very slim mid for uh, Exertus coming down to the very last two people on the mid. Uh, they they kind of they kind of pushed in there, let, gave Ole the opening he needed to just come in there and just do a ton of damage on the combo there. So good yeah, play by him. Good play Xerus, by him. Xerus counts were really aggressive in that mid. I think they, they, they played very well in that one. Absolutely. So we're going to have a uh, full uber here for uh, the Fragile. Uh, going up against a very small disadvantage. Actually, Fragile's on Crits Creek. Excuse me, he stayed on it from last round. The Crits is going to come in. It is popped. Alpha goes down. They're not able to really get anything before the Uber is popped. A nice pop by Wings here. None of these, all these Crits think he's just chilling right now on the point. Are, and and they are the able to take kill. Wings. <laughs> that, was, that was something, huh? Yeah, I mean, wow. he saw the saw the sticks there. Uh, Majesty going in to try to do, to make something happen. He's able to put a, some, enough damage on Badonski. Decimate and Rando also going down. But uh, and oh, also and Tiger did kill a medic, so both ogres are going to be pretty much the same, I think. Yeah, they're going to be able to get mid here uh, and, and maybe yard if they're if they're if they're not uh, if they don't lose anybody in the exchange. Uh, but. It's, but it's okay. Uh, they have a little bit of advantage here, only about 15%, not a whole lot. Alpha getting taken out in it, uh, as Pal checks all the hiding spots. Um, that one was above in garage on uh, the catwalk entrance there. Uh, a pretty a pretty standard spot to hide in, but uh, you never know. They might not check. Um, and Monster is pushing through the yard now. Wanna... Oh, and Pal going down to a sticky trap. Pal had gone down, and that's a huge loss for Monster. I, I wouldn't say it's the end of the world. That actually is going to be not good for them. Uh, the Fragile in a lot of trouble right now. He's actually going to uh, walk out and grab a health pack. Majesty and Oleg both going down. So that's, that was pretty much a four-man sack that turned into uh, Pala just going down to a sticky trap. Yeah, uh, Monster tried playing real aggressively on that one and apparently didn't work out as expected. So now mid lies to Xerus. Actually, Wings Day in a little bit of trouble. He takes a big hit right there and goes down to 30 health. Uh, his Uber has been popped right now. Fragile uh, also has popped his Uber. Blue Uber is going to be a little bit better. Even though they lose Alpha, they're going to be able to pick up another scout in exchange. But Onski calling out as a soldier and takes him out with a nice pipe there. Uh, and it's this is not looking like a good exchange for, uh, for Monster as they're going to lose almost their whole team. Wings is far out uh, on his second with Tiger, who has put up a nice... That's that MGE in action. That's that's why you do it, ladies. The monster getting pushed all the way back to their last, even though they do have an advantage right now, um, which is awesome for them. But let's see what how they play this. Uh, they're able to take out Mela, which is going to mean that they're probably going to be able to push in the second here without having to use their Uber anytime soon. Uh, Exertus is actually in their yard, uh, and they got to be careful here and not get caught by the Uber. Both scouts are uh, in the yard, their whole team pushing out. Ed Decimate getting taken out, but Ozzy going down. Uh, and Fragile in a lot of trouble in Garage, but no, Rando gets a double kill there on Ole and, uh, and Powell Huge with one run pocket. And we have uh, Alpha behind, he's probably try, gonna try to back cap, and there you go, he is. And now we have Aza going back, trying to defend it, let's see who wins the 1v1 now. Uh, it looks and like Alpha the Uber. did, Alpha did, and he's going through the last point now, let's see if he wins. Apparently there's no one lying in the last point. Nope, so, there's yeah, there's Power, let's see who wins the 1v1, Power, Power did win. 
Huge play by Power that saved Monster's ass. Wow. Both Ubers were actually exchanged uh, on around Garage area. Uh, Exertus did pop first, uh, which gave Monster a good opportunity to, to get some kills here on the uh, in the combo. Um, Mela actually staying in right now. He kind of doesn't want to give up Yard right now. He doesn't want to give him anything for free. Uh, and they know this just because Wings is down right now. Power going down to 1 HP. Oh my one god. HP was close. And Exertus has 50% over advantage. Pretty sure they will use it to get this second point. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, it looks like Monster is still opting to defend second here, even at a new for disadvantage. They want to. They uh, are down one man now, so that means they're going to have to back out um, as Exertus is pushing into garage and just taking uh, taking a lot of ground here. So they're going to take the, uh, the next point back, and it looks like Fragile's going to have his Uber up. Uh, he's got a buff everybody. He's on Rando right now, and it looks like we're going to see a pretty standard Uber right now coming out of the right side. Both uh, soldiers have flashed in, and they're trying to get the demo right now. Alpha actually getting taken out, uh, and Venonsky picking up a kill on Majesty. Fragile and Destiny actually going down. This looks like it's going to be a failed push as the heavy comes out right now, uh, even though Tiger goes down. Yeah, that was that was a really good off blast by Azo. He did hold the last point, and now Monster is trying to get the second. Pal is pushing, and as so is Ole, but not sure if they're gonna be able to get it because Exer seems to, to defend it. Yeah, and all the combo has arrived, and Ole died now, so it's gonna be a stalemate again, unless Monster uses the Uber, which is already ready, but. I'm not sure if that's enough to push from the last to second, uh, really. Especially well, right, when it comes to Right now, Exertus. what Exertus needs more than anything is they need uh, they need to get a force if they're going to want to win this next push. Uh, and they, they... we have Alpha spying. Let's see if he can get any kill. Yeah, drop would be even better. Uh, but honestly, going down there doesn't really matter a whole lot. Uh, and the server is now changing the level, so I guess that means time ran out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> so now we don't even get to see the big Alpha Spy play. Sorry, folks. Yeah. Uh, so the score was tied at the. It was uh, tied that. three to three. <laughs> that was a really, oh, really sense. great match. But now we have the second match in an American server, which okay. gives Xerus the, the edge, you know? It does, but Pau is used to it. He's used to playing on uh, on a map on on that high ping. And actually, we're we're changing to Yukon right now. Somebody <laughs> please tell me this is true. Do you guys play Yukon in Brazil? Is that true? No, that's not true. I don't know. That's probably just a mistake from okay, the okay. server admin, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, are we really gonna see a Yukon? Because I don't think we've seen this for like at least like five or six seasons or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. But I I'm not sure because Granary was Exerter's map. I'm not sure which monster's map it's gonna be now. Yes, sir, and soon we will get the STV. So we're gonna take a little break here uh, for one second. Logs are up. Let's take a look at some of the stats here. Uh, and no, it is they're saying Exertus four to three. So it looks like they were able to win that last push. Really? Um, oh, it's yep. a shame we didn't see that. Yeah, it could. It it probably was, was amazing. Awesome. I, I bet he did get a stupidly amazing spy kill. I I don't know. I'm I'm betting. I'm guessing. Uh, it looks like. Uh, it looks like I don't know. It, I don't. I'm not sure. If they did or not, Fragile uh, did get a kill, but I'm looking at Alpha right now, and it doesn't say that he I mean it. I don't know. The stats are hard to read for me right now, for some reason or not. This doesn't have the fancy uh, sizzling stats where it tells me if they've played Spy or something like that. Um, but be that as it may, an amazing match. Uh, it looks like Exertus took it off the skin of their teeth. Uh, in order to win this one uh, on a Brazilian server, it was it was incredibly entertaining. I, I've this is this is awesome. I, I don't think that a lot of uh, North American players really expected a whole lot um, out of out of another community, and this is this is awesome that Brazil is taking a right to them. Yeah, monster, monster too. You know, they they've won like every single championship in South America, 
and you were looking for some challenge, and they got it. Exert is a really good team, and uh, I'm pretty sure both teams are having a lot of fun playing this. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's Palo made play after play after play. I'm also been I was really impressed with Ole. Uh, who also was pretty instrumental on the flank there. Uh, he's he's really great support for his scouts. Like that's that's how you should be playing Romer. I mean, he makes the big plays when he needs to. But more than anything, I think that it's really interesting how uh, the how the rest of the team plays around these scouts yeah, so much. Especially especially when you have Pawa and Azo, who are both amazing players. So. Yeah, actually, Pala actually uh, out damaged uh, his demo. Uh, he top damaged for his team, or not? I'm sorry, Majesty only the only other person to uh, to out damage him. Uh, Pala with 300 damage per per minute, uh, just incredible. Like he top ragged 32 kills uh, in the whole server. So that's that's pretty amazing, uh, to say the least. Um, let's look at the uh, let's look at some more stats here. Um, it looks like. You know, no surprise, but Anski doing a lot of damage for his team as well as Rando. Uh, Alpha and Decimate, uh, while they have been instrumental uh, in in their plays, uh, I think they're they they are feeding a lot. I see Alpha dying in a lot of these uh, times and places that he really he really can't be. Uh, he's he's the one. He's sort of the one that's he's, who's singling the whose death is sing the uh, pushes for monster. Um, so I'm not sure if that's such something where he's just getting bored during some of these these stalemates uh, on Granary, or maybe it's it, who knows what it is. But uh, that's that's the one hole I see in Exertus right now. And if uh, if if Monster's uh, smart enough to uh, exploit that, then uh, we can we can see a lot more rounds go their way. Yeah, and now, uh, like I said before, Exertus will play on a, an American server, which will give them the edge and. Especially for Rando and Mela, who are awesome players, and Bedonsky too. And uh, I'm sure this will be a great match again. Because, you know, 4-3, to three, that was really, really close. And let's see how it goes. Absolutely. Uh, do we know what the next map is? I guess we're going to find out. I think we're about to find uh, it's gonna STV. be It's going to be Snake Water. Yes. Snake Water, everybody's favorite. Uh, favorite map. It's uh, it's pretty awesome compared to the older versions. That uh, I don't know. I, I think I like it a lot more uh, now that there's these little things that have been uh, fixed here and there. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited to see this team. These teams play on uh, Snake Water. These mids are yeah. usually dominated uh, by the team that can bait their soldiers better. <laughs> so, yeah. So and how and A's are exceptionally good at doing that. You got to keep that in mind. Absolutely. Uh, I, I'm really. I, I got to say that I see Tiger is doing a lot of work, uh, but I think that Bedonsky has him a little bit outclassed here uh, in some in a lot of respects. Um, and so I, I think that I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be watching to see Bedonsky making a lot a lot of damage on mids. But uh, after that, who knows who knows what's gonna happen? And it's gonna give Powell an, uh, plenty of opportunities to snipe. Though let me I tell you what. Uh, and once again, we are still waiting for the STV. If you're just joining, tuning in now, uh, this is going to be this is a show match right now between Exertus uh, Esports. Uh, invite ESEA team extraordinaire players, blah blah blah, versus the number one team in South America, Monster. Uh, and this is going to be best of three. So the first map, uh, which was Granary, went to Exertus, which was four to three. And the end, which the end of which we did not, we were not able to see. Yeah, that was a shame. I really wanted to see that, especially as five plays. I bet it was were awesome. Or, or it wasn't. You know, it could have yeah, been so yeah. who knows? That's a, yeah, that's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 one of those things. I wish that uh logs.tf showed backstab kills. That's like what we could it shows headshot kills, but no backstabs, unfortunately. Yeah. Do you what what do you expect from this next map? I mean, it's a uh, American server, but uh monsters map, so well who do you think has got the edge here? Um to a certain extent, I do think Exertus will will take this mostly because uh, they they will have their pings back. Um, I'm I don't I don't think Powell will have that much trouble. I'm not sure how how much the other uh, guys on the team will how 
they're going to adapt to the pain difference that much. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but I definitely expect to see some big plays out of out of the Monster Scouts. Uh, I think that that's, that's how they're going to win it. That's how they're going to win these matches. Uh, and that's how they've been winning rounds um, is off of these plays. Um, I expect Mela to do some pretty sneaky stuff on mids. I don't expect him to get super aggressive right away. Um, but... Yeah, seems that's, like that's pretty there's much no it seems like there's no source Stevie will have to join just like spectate apparently. Okay. Uh, Dash is saying that he cannot. Uh, and it's saying the server is full for us, so it looks like we're gonna have to keep on keeping on until we get an STV for you guys. Yeah, let's let's take a break until the uh, STV is up. Uh, yeah, don't go away. <laughs> 